Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, is a cancer of the blood and bone marrow characterized by rapid progression in the absence of treatment. Response to treatment for ALL can be measured effectively by assessing a proxy measure called minimal residual disease, or MRD, which indicates the concentration of leukemic cells remaining in the body after treatment. However, MRD is often assessed using real-time quantitative polymerase chain reaction, or RT-PCR, which is an expensive and time-consuming technique. In a recent multinational trial, the International Berlin-Frankfurt-Münster Study Group investigated the viability of flow cytometry as an alternative to RT-PCR for assessing MRD in childhood ALL. The trial also investigated the impact of early intensification and the dose of methotrexate on survival. The study involved over 6,000 pediatric patients, with successful assessment of MRD using flow cytometry in 82.6% of patients. This demonstrates that flow cytometry is effective as a faster and less expensive alternative technique for measuring MRD. The five-year event-free survival rate for patients in the study was 75.2% and the overall survival was 82.6%. The scientists also demonstrated that early intensification, as tested in the trial, offered no advantage in terms of event-free survival in intermediate and high-risk ALL patients compared to standard therapy. Further, among intermediate-risk patients, a standard methotrexate dose of 2 grams per square meter and a higher dose of 5 grams per square meter were equally effective in preventing relapse during treatment. The findings suggest that the tested early intensification or higher dose of methotrexate provide no advantage compared to standard treatment in terms of event-free survival.